Okay, gentlemen, happy new year. First video of 2023 coming up. I almost said 2013. Yeah, I'm living in the past. But anyways, uh, oh gosh, before I get started, I have to redo my tabletop. I'm I'm the king of spilling things. I just filled up my uh, lantern here, and of course I spilt it everywhere and made a mess. So that's just par for the course for me. But new video for you guys today to start off 2023. You guys like my last video where I compared this uh, Milwaukee Impact, the uh, M18, to my DeWalt Impact. You guys took me to task a little bit saying, hey, it's apples to oranges. You're comparing a, uh, you know, brushless $100 kit versus, you know, Milwaukee's top of the line item. So I agree. I'm kind of comparing a Lamborghini to a, you know, Chevrolet. But what can you do? You know, if you're like me, I'm sure I'm not the only one. You guys are deciding to upgrade from your, you know, your wife or mom or you know, someone bought you this from Home Depot a couple Christmases ago. He decided, hey, you know what, it's time. You know, I'm doing more work on my vehicles, more work on, you know, items around the farm. It's time to upgrade. This did its job. It's still going to have a use around the house. I'll still use it to hang up pictures and shelf as a professional homeowner. But this is going to stay in the shop. This is going to be doing my heavy lifting and be my, be my workhorse. And it should. Like I said, this plus uh, the impact right here. About three Christmases ago, Home Depot special. I think it's one thirty now. They pretty much have the same thing. One hundred and thirty dollars in comparison to the Milwaukee kit, where you get this, two batteries and a charger for four hundred dollars. So I agree. You guys could take me to task in the comment section, saying, "Why are you comparing Milwaukee to Dewalt? It's apples to oranges." I don't care. Uh, it's my channel. <laughs> it's my channel. If I want to compare them, I can. But anyways, without further ado, a uh, little bit of a comparison here. This this is the batteries you get, these tiny little 20-volt uh, batteries. They, they do the job. Uh, I do have a DeWalt chainsaw. These last maybe five minutes in the chainsaw. Uh, I'm frugal. I bought this uh, replacement 60-volt on Amazon. And this big hunker of a guy, I think this is $30 compared to, how much is the Walt? It's 100, over $100 for it. And it's, it, it's great. It does the job. And that kind of gives you the same footprint as the uh, big Milwaukee here. So right off the bat, uh, quality-wise, comparing the two, uh, it's apples to oranges. This has a nice magnesium body to it. Just the plastic feels so much better than the than the DeWalt. The Chuck, this is some uh, sort of polymer. The Milwaukee is 100% metal all the way around. Uh, this one does come with a boy, nice quality. This gives you the fizz. I'm a fan of uh, Wrangler Star on YouTube. Check him out if you haven't watched his videos. He does great things, but he... Uh, describes a tool as giving him the fizz and i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about when you just feel a tool and it just has that you know that feeling where it just you can just feel the quality it's not cheaply cheaply made it's great quality all around and uh yeah uh, <laughs> you you get what you pay for for sure uh, yeah just just heavy and sturdy and robust and even with this big uh 60 volt battery on the wall it just feels I don't know, and I love this drill, too. It, it, did, it did the job for many years. It just feels cheap compared to this. But again, it's a Chevrolet versus the Lamborghini. So, without further ado, we're going to do a couple simple tests uh, t test here just to see what uh, what we can do. Okay, so first up to bat, DeWalt. Uh, battery is fully charged. We have it on speed, too. Torque setting maxed out. Uh, coarse drywall screw going into some thick old hardened wood here. Uh, let's see what we can do. Three, two, and a one. Well, that was easy. Went right in, no problem, huh? Now, let's give the Milwaukee a, a try here. Now, this does have a auto off feature, auto stop feature. So, I guess once it has enough torque, it feels that it's in there, it's not going to spin out, not going to uh, round out your uh, screw, not going to ruin your bit or anything, but just listen to that. It just sounds so much better, so much different than the, uh, than the, than the DeWalt. You can just feel the, you just hear the quality. Look at that. The chuck just gives you a nice, firm, positive lock. Even the LED light is strong. So, I'll put it in number two here. I don't need a hammer drill, obviously, but this is also a hammer drill. Don't need that. Let's get our uh, screw ready. Same test. Full battery. 
I just want to see how smooth and fluid this is versus the the uh, DeWalt. I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm freezing, guys. I'm kind of stuttering and slurring my words here. It's forty some degrees, but in the shop, uh, even with the fire going and everything, it's it's now forty degrees in here, so it's a little chilly. All right, three, two, one, with the Milwaukee, go. Oh, that was my fault. We'll reset it here. We're doing this real time. I don't want you guys thinking that I'm a. Uh, you know, cheating or giving someone an unfair advantage by any means. So we're doing this real time without any editing by any means. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Let me get the uh, bit in here. This is the first time I'm actually using this Milwaukee Milwaukee drill. So this is a, a test for, for both of us. I never had anything Milwaukee Snap-on. I, I never needed it. There's, there's no point for me to have it. I know they're great tools, but all right, enough talking, Bob. Let's uh, see what we can do here. Three, two, one. Wow, that just drilled it in. Let me get you guys in here a little bit closer. That just sank it in fluid like I was drilling into a... <laughs> A stick of butter. I mean, look at that. Compared, I mean, the, the DeWalt did fine. It did a good job. Rounded out just a little bit. But the uh, Milwaukee sunk it in there. Didn't spin it out. You can just tell the, the difference between these two. Just, just incredible. I love it. Again, does everyone need a $400 Milwaukee kit? No. But if you decided, hey, you know, DeWalt did its job. It's time to upgrade and you're going to use it around your shop, you're going to do your own car work, you're going to have your own, you know, you're going to do your own projects around the house, go ahead and upgrade. Uh, I'm still going to use this, like I said, it's not going to sit in a drawer somewhere, bury, it's going to move, it's going to do different tasks for me and do the job for many, many, many more years. But where I need the torque, where I need the extra power, the extra reliability, uh, bigger batteries, uh, Milwaukee is what I'm going to reach for, so... Yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, concerns, like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you.